lights turn green. Yeah, buddy, that's a dirt track thing. Throw it good, but it looks so clean. Yeah, buddy, that's a dirt track thing. Three weeks to the little bull rings. Hello guys, me Carl Santos, aka Carl95, and I just watched the most thrilling Xfinity race from Homestead, Miami in a long time, so all I can say is the dirt race of the season for these guys, I mean, they picked the right place to put the Miami schedule, I mean, we had Austin Cindric win at Daytona, we Ty, had Ty Gibbs win at the road course at Daytona, and now this kid, Myatt Snyder, win at Homestead Miami for his first career win with Richard Childress Racing. So, so, so I want to say that because Marty Snyder is his his father or, or his son. So, yeah. I guess my Snyder's father raised him right, knowing that he'd be a good NBC pit reporter and realized that the championship, like he does all the reporting with all the current cup drivers, you know, and and my Snyder trying to be an upcoming driver and get the cup real quick. I mean, I guess his homestead Miami win solidifies him to get at least a few stars from up for RCR, so. So, enough of Marty Snyder. We'll talk about my Snyder. So, I remember last summer putting a driver post or a blog post about him, and mine is Gorn Fan 2 for life. Here's what I said. Um, however, it may be unlikely that he will win. My, my Snyder might actually win a race and say that his dad interviewed him on the spot. Meanwhile, some news of him of getting a full-time ride might happen if Richard Childers can give him the potential or the equipment to succeed with what he what Childers has. So, and then. Post number 76 from Foot. He says, Wow, it'd be a very cool story if Mar Marty Snyder actually interviewed him. And it'd be emotional for both. So, what can I get out of this uh, blog post? Well, it was unlikely that Mike Snyder might get a win because he was also driving the RSS Racing for Ryan Sieg and his family te own race teams. So, I mean, what can you ask for, you know? I mean, this was one of the most unorthodox posts I ever made. And then realize eight months later that Ryan Snyder would get a victory. And it really happened. However, tonight he wasn't much of a factor, but he had to battle Tyler Reddick, Brandon Jones, and Daniel Hammock for the win. And he was running that bottom lane where most rookies would drive instead of the high lane because for the high lane to work, you have to be really aggressive and get the rear end of the car t tailed out, you know, or flaring out, I'd say. <laughs> Man, I feel like so exhausted about this My Snyder kid. I mean, he already earned himself a playoff spot. I mean, what more can he ask for for this young man? I mean... I've kind of known my Snyder, uh, or my, his father, Marty Snyder, since like, since I followed NASCAR in like 1999, and he was, he was with the TBS race crew, along with NBC, TNT, those, uh, big networks, sporting networks, I mean, 
he also worked for IndyCar and IMSA I, that I know of. So, Marty Snyder's been in reporting for like 20 plus years, and he's good for the sport, for NASCAR. And more than likely, he's going to get a big paycheck if Mar Marty Snyder could go far, make it to the round of 12, round of 8, possibly lead the round of 4. This may not be may not be likely, but uh, I mix with words right now. I don't know what to say. And throughout this video, I how can I connect the dots? Point A to point B, wherever my Snyder goes, he doesn't have to worry about having to earn his way through points. He can just drive the wheels have RCR do some experimental runs and hopefully by the time the playoffs start he's gonna be right there and hunting for a championship who knows maybe be the David versus Goliath and dethrone Austin Sendrick you know and you, you're gonna get underdogs in a championship run like this so. If he can get this one win just like Homestead Miami, I can guarantee you it'll be like the next Brandon Jones. A guy that just wrecks every week, you know, but but this year he doesn't. He hasn't done so far, but I'm AK Apicard on Night 5. Y'all have a good evening, everybody, and peace out.